On this episode of Road Dirt, we review the Revit Davis TF riding jeans. Stay tuned. Hey, this is Rob with Road Dirt, and we recently picked up a pair of Revit's Davis TF motorcycle riding pants, and uh, thought we'd showcase some of the features for you. I'm really enjoying these. Their offerings are really fantastic. Uh, we've reviewed on our site and on the YouTube channel um, their, uh, their heated gloves, which are awesome. I love their heated gloves. And uh, their backpack offerings, very versatile. And uh, I saw these in their catalog, these riding pants, and I just had to have a pair of them, as well as a Revit leather belt to go with it. So um, very pleased with them. Thought we'd share with you uh, some of the features that, uh, that Revit has built into their riding pants. Uh, they're actually double stitched all the way around. All the stitching is like double stitching everywhere um, with triple needles from what I understand. I'm not sure exactly what that means, but uh, very solid stitching. It's made from a quarter a twill material that is mildly stretchable, so it flexes really well with you when you're, you know, when you're in a in a crouch down on a motorcycle. They fit really, they fit really well. They don't seem to ride up or ride down at the at the waist or anything like that. And they've got um, pockets not only for um, knee inserts, you know, they they've got uh, CE armor built in here that's adjustable on the inside. And I like how the fact that they're they're easily to they're easy to get to on the inside of the pant leg on both of them. You can see that as well here. But they've got them in the hip also. Um, they're not accessible on the outside. I'm not going to take my pants off to show you on the inside, but um, you can actually access them from inside. They've got a CE1 armor pocket on both sides here too, with a little uh, a little CE pack that. Um, that hip protects the hips if you go down, which is something that's happened to me before. Um, about a year or so ago, I slid out on a motorcycle and went down on the left side, and elbow pads caught my uh, caught my elbow. That was fine. Helmet caught my my cranium, but I uh, had a bruised tip for about a month or so because uh, the pants I was wearing on, th on that ride didn't have any hip didn't have any hip uh, padding. These ones do. Nice little pad right there on both sides that don't really stand out, but uh, man, it's just nice having those right there. And they're all removable for when you clean the jeans or if you just want to wear them as, as walkabouts, you know, uh, something like that, which they actually look really sharp for that. They're a nice looking pant. And um, pockets in the front and in the back, um, double looped in many places, just to make sure that, uh, you know, everything's nice and solid. You know, for a belt, they won't they won't break and things like that. So, uh, very nice riding pants. I've actually been out. We haven't had a lot of great weather here in the South, like most of the rest of the country across the winter. But I've been able to get out a couple of times and uh, ride with them, and they're very comfortable, very very adjustable to, you know, your riding position when you're when you're crouched and your legs are up on the pegs or some, or or something like that. And um, so they're very. Uh, very comfortable riding pants as well as just walking around with them. Um, just to kind of break them in after I got them, I did that. I just spent a couple of days just walking about, going to Kroger and shopping with my wife and, you know, and uh, meeting friends for breakfast one morning in them just to kind of get used to them and get a feel for them. And they broke in. We washed them once and they already felt really nice and comfortable. They broke in really well. So uh, really good, uh, a good jean. And um, I think the only there's really so far only two things that I wish they would incorporate in it and uh, two little modifications that uh, that I think would would work really well either here or here if they built in a little ring for a key ring that you could actually clip to it right there and then stick your keys in your pocket I think uh, I think an external key ring would be really nice and also the one thing about the front pockets is they're not very deep I noticed riding uh, the old Kawasaki KZ650 or the or the Triumph Bonneville Street Cup, that when I'm when I'm when my legs are up kind of in a crouch, that uh, whatever is in those pockets might want to start coming out, 
And I actually had a, a, a clip with my, um, my house keys and things like that that I had clipped right here to the outside. I couldn't get it up to that loop. And on one of the rides, by the time I got back, the, the, the keys were starting to hang out of the pocket a little bit. I think if they, they've got room for it, if they made these front pockets a little bit deeper, maybe about a half an inch to an inch deeper, um, they'd be perfect, that's for sure. The back pockets have got great depth to them, and I think they need that, they need that um, depth in the front pockets as well. So um, that'd be my suggestion, my humble suggestion. But um, otherwise, they're just a, a great blue jean. They, they're actually a little bit longer in the legs, which I like because they don't ride up when you're on, uh, out on the bike and you're out riding. And you know, you young hipsters can roll a nice little cuff on both sides to the top of your boot and they look really cool. So um, great jeans, I highly recommend them. You can find them on their website, revitusa.com and uh, look up the Davis TF riding jeans. They've got them, like I say, in this camel colored brown tan, and they've got them in a blue jean as well. Great jeans. I think the blue jean ones actually have a reflective strip somewhere built into them for if you're wearing them and riding at night, something like that. They add a little bit extra visibility uh, in the dark. So, um, hey, thanks for tuning in. If you like this video, you like this review, check out our other ones as well as the ones we, especially the one we did on the Revit gloves. Those are really cool. Go check out that out there. Subscribe, like, ring the bell so you can get notifications about uh, any future videos we may put out for you this coming year. Check us out on social media. We're on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, Road Dirt TV, uh, as well as we've got a Spotify music channel called Mo uh, Road Dirt Classics, about 25 hours worth or so of just rocking 60s, 70s, 80s, some 90s music. We're a bunch of old guys. We love the old rock for when you're out on the open road. Got a podcast, the Road Dirt Podcast. Check us out on multiple platforms. And definitely, definitely, definitely check out our main, what we call our e-magazine, our main motorcycle site. It is roaddirt.tv. That's where all of us writers and photographers contribute and share our stories with you on our bike reviews and ride events and things like that. Check us out at roaddirt.tv. Well, until next time, this is Rob with Road Dirt. Rod Life.